calendar has turned to March, and this is when the madness begins, of course. You or I avoided a disaster on Wednesday, narrowly avoiding a loss to Fordham on the road. So would they serve as a wake-up call for the Rams, or would this be a sign of things to come? Rhode Island a little banged up with seniors Jeff Dowen and Cyril Langevin battling injuries. Hosting St. Louis today, that's Rhodey legend Catino Mobley in the house. Rhodey sleeping in on this Sunday afternoon. All St. Louis from the jump off the loose ball. Hassan French on the receiving end of an alley-oop. Then check out the ball movement. Terrence Hargrove Jr. on the layup. Billiken start the game up 11-0. Rams finally start getting it together. Jeff Downton knocks down the jumper, but he was limited with that ankle injury. He didn't run on it all week, Coach Cox said. Then nice pick and roll. Sorrell Langevin, the basket and the foul. More from the senior now. Langevin, strong take, finish with the left hand. But every time the Rams made a run, St. Louis responded. Hargrove Jr., another dunk. Billikens dominating down low. 56 points in the paint. David Cox frustrated with his team's performance in a game they needed on the bubble. Rams fall 72-62. to Disappointing loss, uh, very disappointing loss. I need to give credit to obviously St. Louis and Travis Ford for having this team uh, prepared today. Uh, much, much better job than I did in preparing our guys. You know, being bruised up or being fatigued uh, is not an excuse uh, uh, at this point of the year. Everybody's bruised up, everybody's fatigued. Uh, we've got to watch the film and uh, see where we can make some tweaks uh, in order to be prepared for Wednesday's tilt versus, uh, versus Dayton. Yeah, it's a huge one Wednesday night. Rhodey hosting number four Dayton on senior night. I don't want to call it a must win, but it would go a long way to helping their now very delicate NCAA tournament bubble status. Rams finish at UMass next Saturday. 